Right guys, and just like that, with the magic of the internet and uh, the beauty of YouTube, we're ready. Here we are, 12 minutes and 2 seconds to go. Have I done any research? Absolutely not. Should I? Possibly. I'm not going to say probably, I'm going to say possibly, because personally, now that I've actually got a you know, fair amount of knowledge about certain players, I feel like I'm going to be able to make pretty educated picks. We've got 10 teams in the draft. There's going to be 10 quarterbacks drafted, 20 running backs, 20 wide receivers, 10 tight ends, 10 additional either wide receivers or running backs, 10 kickers, 10 defensive teams, 60 bench players and 30 reserves. So all up, I'm assuming there's going to be around about 200 picks. I will not be getting the first pick this year. In fact, I've got the second pick and we have officially 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. All right, so as long as I pick a running back first or a wide receiver, I'm good. We've got 90 seconds on the clock for each pick and it begins in, in less than 10 minutes. So I'll see you there. Do we have any chat? No one is talking. Type the first message or choose one of the icebreakers below. No, I think I'll just write my own. Sup, guys? And I guess the only thing you've got to worry about with these free leagues is that people actually turn up. <laughs> so uh, at the end of the day, I'm here. I know that much. And I suppose we're just going to have to wait and see if anyone else turns up. Either way, I'll see you back here in 8 minutes and 39 seconds. Right, guys, six and a half minutes to go. I am getting slightly nervous, not only for the fact of, you know, making a mistake, but also for the fact that no one has written back in the chat box yet. Anyway, see you in another five minutes. Right, guys, we officially have three minutes to go until the draft starts. I've got my first beverage of the day. It's a bourbon and coke for anyone wondering. And we're going to reduce the size of this just slightly, just slightly. All right, we're ready. Couple of notes here. All right, first first player, first player I'm going to get unless he gets picked in the first pick of the draft is McCaffrey. Then I'm going to go for Evans. Then I'm going to go for Kelsey, and then I'm going to try and get a quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Those guys are going to be my first four picks. And whatever you do, don't at me. Well, not yet, anyway. I'm getting slightly nervous. These are similar feelings to what I felt back in the day. First ever fantasy draft, 2018. And uh, yeah, it's not looking good, guys. We've got no one chatting. Where are yous? Where are yous? Oh, well, what I will say, guys, is that if this doesn't work, I will host my own. But I suppose you guys won't know about that until I have to. And uh, officially, we do have a message from Campbell's daddy. He says, I'm here. And I say, well, sup, bro. Welcome to the... Well, sup, bro. Welcome to the draft. Well, guys, we officially have a draft on our hands. And it begins in five seconds. On the clock is Hand of Doom. Your team is now on the clock. Oh, you're fucking joking. He picked Christian McCaffrey, the bastard. Ugh. God damn. All right. All right. All right. All right. Focus. Focus. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? I'm going to go for a running back first, just like I'd planned. I'm going to change tactics, all right? Christian McCaffrey is gone. Understandable. I'm going to go Tyreek Hill. Delvin Cook with the third pick. Hang on. 15 picks. How many teams do we have in here? Hang on. 15 picks away. What are you talking about? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Ah, oh, it goes back the other way. Okay, so I've got second pick, and now, oh shit. Yeah, this makes sense. Yep. All right. So I go second, 19th, 22nd, 39th, 42nd, 59th, and so on. I've changed the game, guys. I've gone wide receiver for the first pick. I don't mind it. The only other guy I was going to take over, the only other guy I was going to take over Tyreek Hill was Derek Henry. But I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait just a little bit for my first running back. 
And if I can get Leonard Fournette, I'm not going to... Oh, we've got a quarterback drafted first by Lareza Rams. Patrick Mahomes, not a bad choice. We've got a wide receiver drafted. And a tight end, Travis Kelsey. So I can, uh, I can officially cross off Christian McCaffrey and Travis Kelsey. We've still got Mike Evans as a possible. But I'm going to have to pick up a running back. Two running backs, two wide receivers, plus one extra. Oh, DK Metcalf's gone. What a disappointment. Stefan Diggs, Calvin Ridley, Devontae Adams, Jonathan Taylor, you bastard. That was my backup plan. Najee Harris. I don't mind that choice. Nick Chubb, Cleveland, running back. I quite like that one. Chris Carson, James Robinson. Actually, you know what? You know what? James Robinson might be a go here. He might be a go. Let's just see what happens. Hopkins. Your not a bad team choice. is now on the Def clock. Definitely going to have to get a running back here. Um, or else I'll, you know, run out. Or else I'll completely run out. So, all right, we're talking running backs. I don't mind James Robinson as a choice. I, I do not at all. J Josh, uh, Josh Jacobs, mean. Kareem Hunt, yes. But uh, look, we're going to have to stay up the top here. It's between Chubb of the Browns and Robinson of the Jags. You know what, guys? It would just be wrong of me to not pick a Jacksonville Jag when he's on the list. But not only that, makes makes sense to be picked. So you know what? I'm going to go with James Robinson. And I feel good about that. Because in two more picks, I've got another another pick. So Nick Chubb, gone. Not surprising. I do need another running back. I'd probably better pick him up this round. But in saying that, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind a wee bit of Justin Jefferson on my team. Your team all. is now on the clock. Uh all right. Actually, who was picked? Aaron Rodgers. Fucking hell, we're in the quarterbacks. All right. Big time decision here. Big, big time decision. Is it going to be a running back? Chris Carson, I I wouldn't mind him being on my team. Wouldn't mind him at all. But then again, I wouldn't mind a bit of Justin Jefferson, like I said. I don't mind backing a, a second year guy. He got 1,400 yards last year. And you know what? I reckon he's going to do it again. I'm going to go Justin Jefferson. Tyreek Hill, James Robinson, and Justin Jefferson. Tell you what, guys, if, uh, if there ever was a trio to score yards, it's these three. Well, I mean, I hope so. Anyway, 15 picks to go. Let's just chill. Let's just chill for a second. Right, so I need, I need one more running back, one tight end. There's only been one tight end drafted so far, and that's Travis Kelsey. We've got George Kittle. Now, that's a decent option. I'm not going to say that there's really any other tight ends that pique my interest, apart from Gronkowski, but your guess is as good as mine as to how many minutes he's going to play. It's all good. Let's just watch. Uh, let's just watch the board. Keenan Allen. Mr. Wiggle himself is gone. Darren Waller is officially on the board with pick number 26 George Kittle is officially on the board and for Darren Waller to get drafted before George Kittle that's saying something TJ Hawkinson McLaurin Brown all right what running backs have we got left is there anyone that piques my interest Edwards Allaire got injured didn't he or was that Travis Etienne? I've just got to quickly look up Chris Carson's stats from last year. Because if he's sharing the load with too many other people, I'm not interested. 
He's 26. And I'm not going to say that it's a guarantee that he shared the load. He only played 12 games. He got 681 rushing yards and 287 receiving yards. So he's a dual, so he's a dual threat, which I like. And you know what? If he's still there, I'm going to get him. All these guys are going to draft their QB thinking they've got the next best thing, but uh, I know what I'm doing. I'm waiting for my Jags. I'm waiting for my rookie Jags quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. And if I do get him, seeing as Trevor Lawrence has been named QB1 and Gardner Minshew has been traded, I reckon that's a fucking good option. And I'm confident. But, but in saying that, would I be able to pick him up as a second quarterback? Only time will tell. Your team is now on the clock. All right. We are going with Chris Carson, unless, unless we see something that's going to change my mind. Leonard Fournette. I wouldn't, geez, I wouldn't mind having Leonard Fournette on the team. I'm, I, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to try and grab him. James Connor. James Connor, a definite gun running back melvin gordon man these guys are come on they're all up there aren't they they are certainly all up there i'm gonna go look I, i'm gonna stick with my guns i'm gonna go chris carson so we've got two running backs two wide receivers is it time to draft a quarterback a replacement wide receiver or running back or alternatively, a tight end. Your team is now on the clock. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six tight ends drafted so far. Let's have a look who's left. Well, I've got to get one, right? I've got to get at least one. I like Zach Ertz, but uh, his projected points is fucking terrible. Gronkowski? Wouldn't mind having Gronkowski in the team. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go Mike Evans because he is on my list. And to think, with my fifth pick, I can still pick him up? Fuck it. Let's go Mike Evans. I know Julio Jones is there, but I did write down Mike Evans, and I'm going to stick to it. We need a quarterback. We need a tight end. We need a kicker. And we need a defensive team. So let's go QBs. Let's have a wee look down here. QB has to be the next pick for me. And if I don't, I'm an absolute idiot. But I will say, guys, that if I can pick up Brady and Lawrence, that would be the ultimate result. Fuck, where is Lawrence? Jeepers, creepers, where is the guy? What, 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 what rank is he? What rank is Trevor Lawrence right now? He is ranked number 106, projected to uh, accumulate 274 fantasy points. Right? Tom Brady. Okay. This is getting really interesting. I don't mind my team though, guys. I do not mind. I do not mind my team one bit though, guys. Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, and Mike Evans. Not bad. Then you've got Chris Carson and James Robinson sharing the running back duties. I like that too. This is actually a lot more fun than I expected. I mean, I've been waiting about five hours to get rolling. And, uh, well, I'm going to say it was worth it. So tight end, quarterback, kicker, or defense. All right, so the next two picks are going to be a starting tight end and a starting quarterback. And as far as tight ends are concerned, we have, well, you know what? I'm going to go quarterback next. That would be smart. Some of you guys are probably yelling at the screen saying, get a quarterback. So we're going to go quarterback and then we're going to go tight end. And if I can get, if I can get Brady and Gronk, I'm going to be happy. Yeah, we'll go Brady and Gronk. I mean, let's, let's be honest. What person out there doesn't want Tom Brady at the helm of their team? Not me. Three picks away. And Brady, two picks away, and Brady is still on the board. What I will say is that I like Matthew Stafford as an option. And I like Ryan Tannehill as a person. One pick away, guys. 
Dak Prescott, gone. Justin Herbert, gone. Allen, Murray, Jackson, Wilson, Rodgers, and Mahomes, gone. I think your team is now on the clock. And that is Tom Brady. You're mine. And thankfully, I can pick my tight end right away. So let's go to the tight ends. Let's uh, make sure I pick the right. Your team is now on the clock. Job. Let's have a wee look down here. Zach Ertz. I like the guy, but God, the projected points are just terrible. All I, honestly guys, all I really want is a starting tight end. And if I did my research, I'd know exactly what's going on. But I didn't. So with that in mind, I'm going to go four. Actually, I've got to read Gronkowski's. Is he coming back? How long have I got? 40 seconds. All right. Gronkowski. Where are you? Where are you, mate? On March, okay, on March 22nd, 2021, Gronkowski re-signed with the Bucks on a one-year deal worth $10 million. And you know what, guys? For me to have Tom Brady and not have Gronkowski in the team, that'd be wrong. That'd be just wrong. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I will say, I will say, that I'm really liking this team, more so, a lot more so than last, a lot more so than last time. That's for sure. Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Mike Evans, James Robinson, Chris Carson. Then you got Tom Brady, and Rob Gronkowski. In fact, we've got three bucks: Brady, Evans, and Gronk. We've got one Seahawk and Carson. We've got one Viking, in Justin Jefferson. We've got one Jags player, soon to be two. If I've got anything to do with it and then we've got a Chiefs player in Tyreek Hill and I gotta say guys I gotta say guys what a team that is and you know what I'm looking at that and I'm thinking is anyone gonna give me shit is anyone gonna you know start ripping me to shreds in the comment section below and I can't see it happening I cannot see it happening I'm confident anyways let's continue Stafford gone Thielen respect Andrews, don't know who you are. I'd much rather Gronkowski than that count. Miles Gaskin. All right, so whilst we've got a little bit of spare time, let's let's just go over the rules, all right? We've got a quarterback. We've got two running backs. We've got two wide receivers. We've got a tight end. We have an additional either wide receiver or running back. So now we need a kicker, a defensive team, and guys who can take over the starting spot when our starters are out for a buy. Does does that sound correct? Sounds correct to me. And I suppose those bench positions, you know, are not going to be your first picks, obviously, but they're at least going to provide you with a, a player that's going to suit up that week, right? Whoa! Robbie Anderson, a.k.a. Sideshow Rob, is picked with the 71st pick of the draft. The first defensive team is picked with the Rams. Right, we've got five picks to go. After my next two picks, I'm going to put some messages in the chat and see who replies. Kicker, defensive position, and then your replacements. All right. Justin Tucker. I like him. Right, so the kicker and the defense basically project... So, okay, so the kicker and the defense basically... Your team is now on the clock. You know, on an average day... Um, accumulate around about the same amount of points. You know, on a good day, it'd be about around about 100, if not a little bit more. On a bad day, I'm assuming, well, it's probably not going to be too much less. So is it going to be defense or kicker? Defense or kicker? Do I want to secure my Jags? Not particularly. Do I want to secure my kicker? Do I want to secure my kicker? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. But first, I'm going to go for defense. We're going to go with the. Actually, when we think about defense, who did? Where's my, where's my guy? We'll go Justin Tucker. 
I feel good about that. I like Justin Tucker. Not only is he a professional NFL kicker, he's actually an opera singer. Before I pick my defense, I can have a look at this. So sex one point. Your team oh, is now on the clock. One to six, seven to three, 14. All right, all right, all right. We'll go defense. And you know what? Just to give me something to get up about every single time I watch the Jags this year, we're going to go the Jags. Fuck it. And I'll tell you what, the more, I'll tell you what, the longer this draft goes, the more I like my team. Okay, so now we are into the replacement players, and there are six in total that we need to pick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, well, we better start looking. Replacement quarterback for the bye week. Trevor Lawrence is still there. I'm going to take him. What is that? Oh, you can flag players. Well, all right then. Baker Mayfield's still out there. Well, you know what? I'd probably back Baker to have a more productive season than Trevor Lawrence, but I'm not going to back against my Jags. There's no way in hell. I'm going to go Trevor Lawrence. All right, running back, what have we got? Melvin Gordon. James Connor. I like him. Leonard Fournette and Philip Lindsay. We'll leave it there. Wide receiver. Jamar Chase. As a rookie, possible. Smith Schuster is always a bit of entertainment. We'll put a flag on him. We'll go Jamar Chase too. DJ Chark. We'll go him. Antonio Brown. Yeah, don't mind a bit of him. Jalen Waddle. Now that is a rookie I am extremely interested in seeing, but I'm not going to pick him. I'm going to go down the list a bit and go Jarvis Landry. All right, that's enough. Tight ends. What have we got? Eric Ebron. I actually don't mind that guy. David Njoku. I like him too. O'Shaughnessy for the Jacksonville Jags. Oh, I like him. But he's not very productive. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave that one. I need to flag another replacement QB. And I'm going to go with Mayfield. Running back. Replacement running backs. We've got plenty of those. Wide receivers. We've got at least a couple. No, we've got plenty of those. Tight ends. We've only got one picked, which is fine. That's all we need. Do we need a replacement kicker? Probably not. Let's go back to the board and just check out what's going on. Your team is now on the clock. Okay, so we're talking about replacements here. Either replacements or possibly, you know, taking up the, the starting role if someone gets injured. So with that in mind, with that in mind, we do need a replacement quarterback, but I like, I don't know, man. I like, uh, I like the look of, I like the look of Fournette. And you know what? For me to let Fournette slip through my fingers at this late stage of the draft it's not going to happen we're going to go four net <laughs> then i'm going to go trevor lawrence because at the end of the day guys if you pick your favorite players it makes it all the more interesting so your team is now on the clock let's go t law four net lawrence jags gronkowski brady evans robinson can you tell who my two favorite teams are am i no i'm not i, I thought i might be the first team to I thought I might be the first team to draft a second quarterback, but I'm not. I'm the second team to do it. And now there's three. So one replacement running back, one replacement quarterback. It's time for a wide receiver. It's time for a wide receiver. And if Smith Schuster is still on the clock, as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to take him. Then again, we do have DJ Chark and we do have Antonio Brown, although I see Antonio Brown as being, you know, a third or fourth string wide receiver. So I don't assume he's going to produce too many points, but uh, I've been wrong before. Let's just see what's available. Oh, sorry, guys. Fuck, we could have been seeing it. Could have been zoomed in from the start. Really apologize about that. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for the rest of it, all right? Just so we can get a good look. Baker Mayfield is on the board. Lutz, the kicker for New Orleans. No idea who he is. Uh, Samuel, wide receiver for the Washington football team, although he's suited up in the Carolina Panthers. Smith Schuster, well, you bastard. That was my pick. I'm going to have to look back at the, uh, the list. Do I go DJ Chark or do I go Antonio Brown? It's a hard one. 
Both have special places in my heart for very different reasons. I need a wide receiver, put it that way. Right guys, we're on here. Your team is now on the clock. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And as we look at the wide receivers, I'm still torn as to who I should pick. We're not talking about, we're not talking, you know, well, actually, no, Jarvis Landry's still there. So is it going to be, all right, all right, guys. Is it going to be, well, Cole Beasley. I don't mind a bit of bees too. Cole Beasley, Jarvis Landry, Jalen Waddle, Antonio Brown, or DJ Chark. And you know what? Being an Antonio Brown fan, seeing as I've already got four or five bucks players already, fuck it. Let's go AB. You're coming with me, mate. And I tell you what, I like that pick too. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, this is so funny the way this has turned out. All right. Your team you is now on me, the right? clock. Oh, shit. I'm on the clock. Hold on a sec. We've got a replacement QB. We've got a replacement running back. We've got a replacement wide receiver. I'm going to get another tight end. I'm going to go for Noel Fent. Noel Fent or Jay Cook. All right, I'm going to go Jay Cook Saints. Come on. Give me something. He's a veteran. He's 34 years of age. And he signed with the Chargers for a one-year $6 million contract, which I'm assuming means... He's going to play, although he's only started half the games he's played in the last couple of years. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, geez, this is, this is actually getting out of hand. Uh, I'm going to go the Denver Broncos tight end who got 673 receiving yards from 62 receptions last year and three receiving touchdowns. No fan. Done. Now we go to the chat box. Right, one running back, one QB, one wide receiver, one tight end. We need one kicker and one defensive team, and then we're done. Now, if there's someone I actually recognize, I mean, I've got absolutely no problem with, with, with picking them. Josh Lambeau. Yeah, there's my guy. There's my guy right there. So we're going to wait and see if he's still available. If he is... He's coming home. James Connor and Philip Lindsay, both drafted in round 13. So was Michael Thomas. Now that is surprising. But what that really means to me is that there's a shitload of talent in the league. Jarvis Landry picked up in round 14 of the draft. All right, final two picks, guys. If I can get Tampa Bay on defense and Josh Lambeau for the kicker, I'll be more than happy. Nope, I will not be getting the Buccaneers for the defense, but that's okay because we've still got at least two of my four favorite teams available. So that's okay. And if I had to choose one, I'm going to say the Chiefs. So let's go Josh Lambeau for the kicker and the Chiefs for the defense. And that, my friends, will round out the entire draft. Your team is now on the clock. My team is on the clock. Well, in that case, I'm going to back my guy Josh Lambeau to do the business, ranked number 1812 in the entire league. Jeez, <laughs> uh, uh, um, really? Hang on, you've got a kicker who's ranked 240 in the league, and then you've got other kickers who are just as good, in my opinion, ranked 1812th in the league. How does that work? I don't know. Anyway, Josh Lambeau, you're coming home, buddy. Now, I didn't originally, I didn't quite know what kind of strategy I was going to use as far as the replacements, but I have gone, you know, for the classic one replacement for each position for each week that someone is out through a bye. So all going well. Bar injury, of course. There shouldn't be any week of the year that I don't have a full team selected. Your team is now on the clock. And my team is now on the clock with our final pick of the day. It's a defensive team. And it is officially the Chiefs. 
And that, my friends, is my draft. Completed. Hill, Robinson, Jefferson, Carson, Evans, Brady, Gronkowski, Tucker, Jags on D, Fournette, Lawrence, Brown, Nolfant, Josh Lambeau, and last but not least, the Chiefs on defense. And I'll tell you what, guys, that is a team that I am extremely proud of and extremely excited to see play. I will say, guys, I'm glad Justin Fields has been picked up. Uh, I'm glad Trey Lance has been picked up. I'm glad both Joe Burrow and Jalen Hurts been picked up. Tua, Tungavailoa, been picked up. It is quite interesting as to which quarterbacks have been picked up. It's it's basically you know the the upper echelon of quarterbacks, as in veterans, and then you've got the opposite end of the scale in the rookies and the second year. Thanks for attending the NFL draft. Best of luck this season. And they all seem to have been picked up. Um, how would you rate your draft experience? A plus. And there you have it. The draft is officially in the books, my friends. And uh, what I'm going to do now is message these guys. What's up, guys? Where are you all from? If we don't get any messages back, then I am going to exit. Mateo is in the chat. He's from Ottawa, Canada. I'm going to ask him a question. Ever seen a video on ever seen this guy on ever seen this guy on YouTube making videos as a rugby player reacting to NFL straightforward question <laughs> he says yes he says yes that's unbelievable a random NFL.com draft has a guy in there that's seen my videos all right well my friend well my friend that guy is me lol and i am going to be covering this nfl fantasy draft on my channel throughout the year good luck my guy it's gonna be a blast and it seems as if mateo is indeed excited to see it sweet bro see ya there and that my friends brings us to the end of another nfl fantasy draft but also another video and uh what a, what an enjoyable video that was here we are, a week and a half away from the 2021 NFL season. I am 60 players through the 2021 NFL's Top 100 Players list. And uh, look, man, content creation is just in overdrive at the moment. Uh, there's going to be so much content on this channel. Guys, if you are interested in the NFL, if you're interested in anything I'm up to, and you're not subscribed, sort that shit out. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you for week number one. Peace out, guys.